Hello and welcome to this series of uh, Seeing Clearly the Obvious. I meet so many people and uh, they have this goal, this idea of uh, attaining awakening. Please understand that waking up is simply seeing what is obvious here and now. We keep missing it. It's true, our ego will put up a fight and it wants to know that it's going to achieve something and it's working better, but it's really very simple. You know, seeing clearly is all that is necessary. And, and awakening is simply seeing clearly. It's not figuring out, it's not trying to make sense out of something. In fact, it's quieting the whole mental activity and seeing what is obvious here and now. So let me repeat. And let me give you an example what seeing clearly means. You know, a teacher went in front of his students in the classroom and he drew a circle in the middle of the blackboard and he asked everyone, what do you see? Most of them said, I see a circle. And they missed the blackboard. So you see, it is a matter of seeing seeing what is at the moment as it is. Not your concepts, not your idea of what you should focus on, but to see. Now there are only two things in order to see clearly. Two obvious things. The fact that you exist, very very simple. You are here, you exist. The miracle of that, the wonder of that. Existence itself to look at the obviousness of that. And it's not a personal thing. Everything exists. You are existence that is appearing as you in this form. And this existence is pure energy. In science we know it as this. Pure energy is indestructible. It simply changes form. So the form keeps changing, your body, your name, your past, your memory, everything keeps changing, but there's one thing that never changes. It is you, the observer, the witness, the seer. That is the truth of you. And then there's another truth which is obvious. Now. Now is all that there is. Everything happens now. Everything that you thought you ever experienced was you experienced in the now when it happened. But you see, we live in time consciousness, which is a fact of the linear brain. But if we allow ourselves to see, we'll see very clearly that now is the only real thing there is. Yes, your egoic past, your self-image will fight it. That's understandable. But if there is willingness, if there is true yearning for what is real, you wake up in no time at all because grace is ever waiting for you to help you to see.